to my channel. This is Life with Chica. We're going to be doing a paycheck budgeted for June 19, 2020. We're also going to be doing to check our invoice to see if we don't have any fives or one dollar bills and if we have any change, which we do. Um, and then we're just going to fill our envelopes up and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay? This is for June 19th. Alright, so this is our change that we had left over. This is the jar that I have. It does have a tracker on it, but I don't use it. I think the batteries might have died, and I don't really got time for that. So I just pick up everything. Sorry. I pick up everything and just throw it inside my change thing. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the change, but I'll figure at the end of the year, I'll figure that part out. Um, so we don't have no more change. Um, we're going to check our envelopes. The envelopes we're going to be checking to see if we have any ones or fives. And will be gas, groceries, and self-care. Because everything else is sinking funds. So for gas, we have $80 in. So there's no fives or ones in there. Self-care has $200, which is no um, ones or fives again. And... This is groceries. It has a hundred dollar bill in it. So again, no fives or ones. So I guess we won't be able to put nothing away for fives or ones this week. Okay. Now we also have our electricity bill, which we have to pay, which is um, $39.60, which is really good. Our life insurance for myself and my daughter, which is $33.40. And that will give us $33.00. I meant $73, sorry. And then I had budgeted for $73.40. I had just rounded it off. Um, so those are already paid because those get paid online. Then we also have gas for this week. And then we have self-care for $60, which gives me $100 this week, okay? Then we have Christmas, vacation, birthday, car maintenance, back to school which is $16 each one then we have the three bills which is Amazon rentals insurance and a BJ's membership and then we also gonna do one a month ahead which is meaning have a one month of bills paid ahead of time um, I take out $44 each pay period to do this now mind you my sinking funds are each week okay my envelopes can change week to week depending on what I need and obviously the bills change from week to week, okay? The only two things that will actually stay the same, will not stay the same, but this will stay the same in a sense. But then we have this one down here, which is extra savings, which is my penny challenge, my dime challenge, and my 52-week challenge. Now, I will say I am a few weeks ahead of time on this, so I think we're this is like week 25 or week 26, and I'm actually on 27. So... I feel like that's okay because I'll be done a little bit earlier. Um, I was going to need fifty nine sixty two for that. And then for the three, I mean for the sinking fund, excuse me, it's going to be $150. And then for gas and self-care will be 100 okay? So I went to the bank and I took out $309.62. And this is how I asked for it to be bro broken up, okay? So, we're going to do self-care and gas first, which is perfect. I'm just going to move these to the side for now because I don't have that much space up here. Um, so, this is for this week. So, we're going to have the change here because I took out 300, sorry. I took out three hundred and nine dollars and sixty-two cents. Okay, so I'm just getting the money together. How's your week going so far? Comment down below and let me know how your week is going so far. How was your Juneteenth going? How did that go for you? I noticed a lot of companies are starting to celebrate it. 
which is really good. Um, I just wish they would have been doing it, but hey, it's better than never, better late than never. Okay. I'm just getting the money together. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Um, I think you'll enjoy my channel. I don't just do budgeting. I'm still fairly new, but I have a lot of ideas that I would like to come up with and show you guys. Some of the things that I like to do. Because um, I know like in my everyday life, people ask me questions like, how do you... How are you able to do this? How are you able to do that? Or how did you pay to go on this trip? Because I do like to travel. Um, and I think if you watch my videos, you'll kind of see how I do it. Okay. All right. So all that's lined up, okay? So I'll put that there. So for the first one will be gas. And I will be... So this is how I know what I need, but this is my sheet breakdown, and this tells me exactly how I budget it for the week, okay? So I'm just going to go off of that, all right? So gas, I hope you can see that. I'm just going to fix the table a little bit. Sorry. Okay. So... Gas would get forty dollars, which would here it is, two twenties, which is forty, and then that will actually go into the gas um, file, okay, or fold envelope. Sorry. Then we do self care. Self care will get sixty dollars, and that would get three twenties. One, two, three, sixty. Okay. And then, so 60 for self-care. Um, and then the next one would be Christmas um, funds, which would get $16, which is 10, you know, 5, and 1. And this is... 16 and then I will just write down I put $16 in for June 19th okay that's how I'll keep track of that then the next one will be vacation which will be another $16 okay and then I'll also write this one down Um, if you're wondering where I got the envelopes from, I made them. Um, so that's what I did. I just decided to make them. So the birthdays would get $16 as well. And then just write it down here. 619, 16. Okay. All right, and then we have so that was birthdays. We have car maintenance. Car maintenance gets sixteen dollars as well. And that will get, and I'll just write the sixteen here. You kind of get the hang of it now. placing the money up so the next one will be back to school now back to school will get $16 again I think this is our last $16 one okay we'll put it in here which is in the 
back to school one and then I'll just write down it okay and then the we have the three bills which would get twenty six dollars so twenty twenty five twenty six and that's for the three bills and that will go in here and then I'll just write twenty six down okay Thank you for everyone that has subscribed and hit the thumbs up button. That really means a lot to me. Um, I've been telling myself I was going to start a YouTube channel for so long and I just never did. And, you know, fear sometimes gets you scared. So I said, screw this. I'm going to try it out. And what's the worst? I can fail at it, right? So one month ahead gets, this is the one month ahead um, folder, I mean envelope. I didn't make one, so I just grab one of those gets forty four dollars one two three four plus the two twenties equals forty four dollars this one doesn't have a um, tracker on it so what I like to do is just kind of write them on the back of it I recently started this on June 5th so this one doesn't have as much in it but slowly but surely I'll get there okay so we got those all taken care of okay I do have these envelopes here which is the fives and ones challenge but we didn't have no fives and ones this week so I'll put that over here the leftover is what I have left over at the end of the month so anything that's tens twenties five tens twenties fifties or hundred at the end of the month will go inside here and then I'll just keep it each month until the end of the year and then I'll basically look back on it and see where I need the budget at and I'll use that money for something else again I don't know exactly what I'll be using it for yet because I have a lot going on so I don't really know off top but I'll find up something to do with the cash same thing what I would do with the jar the, the change jar I'll find something to do with that as well okay all right so our next thing will be the penny challenge so here's our penny jar see it says penny challenge and that one gets 1302 in it okay which is one two three and then ten okay so thirteen And then two cents. Okay. Oops. So that will go for my penny challenge. Okay. Then we have the dime challenge next. And this is my dime challenge one. And that one would get 1960 in it. Okay. And if you did your math right, then everything should become at a zero balance. So I said 19. One, two, three, four. So five, which is nine. I'll set nineteen. Okay. So nineteen, and then sixty cents right here. So nineteen sixty goes inside this one, and that is for the dime challenge. Cause I hope you can see this, but it says nineteen. 1960 up there, okay? All right, I might have messed up um, because I have. I swear I didn't take more than one fraud. Nope, I didn't. All right, so I'm not sure what what happened with this one. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. I just have to kind of go back over everything and find out um, where the five dollars went to for this one. That's strange. Um, but I'm just gonna put the twenty-two dollars in it for right now until I find the five, and then I'll 
you know, basically replace it. So this is my 52 week challenge. Again, I'm short $5, but I will find the $5 once I do the upload the video and edit it. I'll figure it out. Or maybe you guys are yelling through the screen now telling me where I messed up at. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I did with it. I don't know how I misplaced it. Again, it might be in one of the envelopes, but it's not in the envelopes that I carry around with me. So... I might have accidentally stuffed it by mistake. I'm just trying to just check my stuff. Yeah, it's not in here. So I'm not sure exactly what I could have done with it. But let me know how you like this video. Please comment, subscribe, and like the video. Sorry for if you can hear the air conditioner it is hot. So. I'm not going to try to film and be torturing myself either. But yeah, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know how you guys like this video. Let me know what you think I can do differently. And I'll look forward to speaking to you guys soon. You too have a blessed day. Bye.